Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and today we're gonna be featuring Echeveria Low Lenses or others call this as the Echeveria Low Lenses. Itong succulent na to is an eye catcher and maganda nga siya if you will add it in your collection. It will be giving you these gorgeous resets that come in tones of blue green to rosy purple and pink color especially yung kanyang pinaka leaf margins wherein you could really appreciate yung light pink color. Yung pinaka tips niya is pointy and it's characterized as having this reddish na color. If you are gonna be touching it this way, you would really feel na pointy siya but it won't really hurt you or it won't really penetrate itong aking gloves or skin. This succulent is also coated with a white powder called yung ating farina. This succulent is expected to produce yellow flowers once it blooms. In their native growing grounds, itong Echeveria na to prefers yung ating full sun. However, we need to avoid yung ating drastic sunlight changes kasi these could eventually stress yung ating succulent. If you have plans of moving this in an area with full sun exposure, we have to do it in such a way na hindi siya mabibigla kasi pang nangyari yun, magkakaroon tayo ng sunburn or leaf burn sa Kanya. So what you can do is to increase the number of hours na naka full sun siya. For example, for this week, 2 hours of full sun lang siya. Then for the second week, 5 hours, 6 hours, 8 hours. Until the time has come na pwedeng pwede na siya sa ating full sun. Yung ating mga burn leaves sa ating mga succulents will not heal. And since itong ating mga echeverias in general keep their leaves for a long time, you would also be expecting that it will look burnt for a long period of time. And if the damage is severe na talagang completely siyang na sunburn, it would be best if you will just cut off or ibibihead natin itong ating succulent and just let it regrow from the stalk. Watering wise, they don't like to be kept too wet and they also don't like to be kept too dry. As much as possible, if we're gonna be watering the succulent, we have to water the soil directly and not yung kanyang pinaka rosette. That is possible if they are located in a greenhouse or in an area kung saan are covered against our rain. But for this type of succulent, nakalagay siya sa ating rain or shine area and therefore, I have no control nung ating weather. So when it rains, talagang it pours and thoroughly mababasa siya. Not only the soil but also yung kanyang pinaka rosette. And it helps na may farina siya. Mapansin nyo, yung iba natin mga droplets of water are like floating sa pinaka leaves nitong ating low lenses. And that's because of the farina. Yan yung pinaka whitish coating niya sa kanyang pinaka leaves. It's very important for us to preserve or avoid touching or removing ito kasi it would now protect them against the rain and against the sun as well. I'm trying to check if there are signs of overwatering such as yung ating mushy leaves but so far wala pa rin naman ako nakikita ng any sign na overwatered siya. In fact, it's still looking great. Anytime pwede na siyang ma-overwater especially if we won't be removing it doon sa ating open area and if dire-diretso pa rin yung pag-uulan for the next coming days. During the rainy days or the rainy season, doon natin ma-realize how important yung ating mga well-draining na soil mix. Yung ginamit kong soil mix here is a DIY. You can also make your own mix if you want. This is a combination of our garden soil, vermicompost, our cocoa peat, some carbonized rice hull, and yung ating pumice stones for added drainage sa kanya. Fertilizing this kind of succulent is not that important kasi naturally sa kanilang environment they can grow even if na poor yung kanilang soil. I use a blended type of fertilizing my succulents. Every 3 to 4 months I'm using yung ating Osmo Coat na isang control release fertilizer. I'm also using a fertilizer from Japan. It's like granules na diluted in water and yun nga yung pinagdidilig ko sa kanila every month. You won't be having any problem with propagating this kind of succulent because if you don't want to make use of the leaf propagations or stem cuttings, you will be rewarded by these offsets growing sa kanyang pinaka ilalim. We have one, two, three, I don't know, that's a big size already, four, and five. We have five offsets here but I think we have more doon sa kanyang pinaka loob if we will be removing this one. 
Yung ginamit kong container here is just a recycled na Tupperware na disposable. And hindi pa naman niya masyadong na-outgrow yung ating container. Siguro we will be giving this at least 6 months more before we can finally repot it. And during that time na mag -re repot tayo, that's the time I will be separating itong kanya mga offsets. But for now, ganyan na lang muna siya. We will be enjoying yung kanyang clump look. And so we can also remove itong ating mga leaves na ito na nag-dry na sa pinakababa. Basa siya kasi nga maulan ngayon. It's not really because of overwatered siya. So while removing yung ating mga dead leaves, we also need to check for some infestations, yung ating mga mealybugs. Baka may mga nakasingit-singit dyan. We have to remove them. And also, since tag-ulan na naman, we have to be extra careful with some fungal infection, especially yung ating powdery mildew that is the most common na umaatake sa aking mga plants. And several months ago, nagkaroon ako ng problem with this succulent. Natadad siya ng powdery mildew. And these are some of those marks. Ayan, imagine ganyan yung itsura ng buong plant ko before. I thought hindi na siya magsusurvive. But look at this one now. Diba? Ito na yung pinaka- Bago niyang growth, it's very healthy, including itong ating mga offsets. They are all treated already. I use yung ating Torogi Blue Fungicide. Ayan, you can even see some stains. Dito nga sa kanyang pinakapat, yung parang blue dyan. Those are some of the stains. Usually kasi pag umuulan or nadidiligan sila, yung ating mga blue stains from our fungicide will be washed away. It's always best for us to protect and prevent nga yung ating fungal attacks at yung mga succulents before it's too late. And that's all for our Chiveria Low Lenses. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.